Good evening. Yes, good evening. I am here to see Austin. Is he home? I have been calling him, but he's not picking up. He's not picking your calls. And you think the best way is to come to this house. Anyway, I'm not Austin's keeper, so I don't know where he is. What is that supposed to mean? I only asked a simple question and you decided to say something else just to annoy me. Amanda, I am begging you in the name of whatever God you serve. Do not start today. I am not in this house for you. Sometimes I wonder if you don't have a house. How could you be this clingy to a man you claim you have nothing with? Is it your business? This is Austin's house and I can come here whenever I want. What about you? If truly you have a house, so what are you doing here? Austin is my man and I can come here whenever I like. Sincerely speaking, I am not happy with you always coming to this house. If you must come, then it has to be once in a while. As what exactly? I don't have time to battle words with you. I will really appreciate it if you can get lost or you continue calling Austin. Whatever you do to me, someone else will do it to you. The man you want to spend the rest of your life with will surely have a female best friend that will always compete with you in your man's house. <laughs> Little girl, I won't blame you much. You still need a lot of growing up to do. You can excuse yourself when you're done. I have to talk to Austin about this. Hi, Silver. Finally, you are here. I thought you wouldn't come. Why not? I already promised you I would come see you today. What about Judith? Isn't she coming? Judith went to see Austin. I'm not sure she's back by this time. Maybe she's still there. She and that Austin. I thought she told me he has a woman. She's always going there to see him. That's not true. She decided to stay back the past week. Besides, Austin is her only best friend and she doesn't have eyes for him. You know you are just lying to yourself. That girl clearly has feelings for that her best friend. Anyway, I don't want to talk about her. So it doesn't look like we are gossiping her. So tell me, what happened yesterday? What do you mean? I'm still trying to understand why your husband lied that you weren't at home. When you were in your room, like, what was he trying to do? Can we not talk about this? I really want to know if I'm still welcome to your house or not. Because for him to choose to lie to me so I could leave, it means I'm no longer welcome there. That is not true. Jack likes you and Judith for me. He is glad that we are friends. It's just that I wasn't feeling too well when you came. He had to lie so I wouldn't have to be disturbed and I would have enough rest. He should have told me you were sick. I would have understood. I felt very bad when you came out and I realized he lied to me. Please don't take it to heart. Jack is not the kind of person to keep away from you and Judith. He loves me very much. I would never do anything to make me sad. Now you have just made me feel better. So were you able to get the wedding gown? Yes, I went to the bridal store with Judith. Unfortunately, I didn't like any of those wedding gowns. So the owner of the shop volunteered to order for me from another place. That's nice. How about your fiancé? How is he doing? He is fine. He came visiting. He left not too long ago. Let me get you something to drink. My husband, you said you have something to discuss with me. Go ahead. I'm all ears. Where is Amanda? She went out with Justina. I am sure she's on her way coming home. Because I called her. Okay. I want to inform you that Mr. Williams told me to visit him one of these days. So he could give me some money to start a business. Really? That is wonderful. Chai, that man is really a good man. I think he's tired from our everyday complaint. I think so too. Maybe this is another way of God trying to lift us from this poverty. Yes, yeah, so... So did he tell you how much he will give to you? No, he didn't. But I'm sure he will give me enough to start a business. At least, our daughter will be able to go to school and we will live a comfortable life. And don't forget he might ask us to pay back. It doesn't matter. We will definitely pay back. All I want you to do now is to think of a business that will bring more money to us. I already have a business in mind. Just get the money first and I will let you know what we should do with it. Okay, honey. Don't tell Amanda until we are able to start a business. For now, I have to go and see Mr. Williams. My husband, you have to eat something first before going. You know you didn't have your breakfast this morning. I won't let you leave the house in an empty stomach. You don't have to worry yourself, my dear. I am not hungry. Don't worry, I'll eat when I return. Hmm. All right, no problem. I'll be waiting here for you. Be spontaneous. 
Babe, what took you so long to come out? I've been waiting here for over 30 minutes. Just 30 minutes and you're already complaining. I am sure if it were to be Judith, you wouldn't have complained. Where is that coming from? You can't even apologize for keeping me waiting for so long. You're already talking about Judith. Sorry for keeping you waiting for so long. My parents were in the house. They just left, so I decided to rush out. It's okay, my love. I came to take you out for lunch. You know it's been a while we hanged out together. This is not a good time. My parents will soon be back from where they are going, so besides, I think it would be better if you take Judith instead. The boy is wrong. Why are you suddenly bringing Judith into our conversation? She didn't tell you I came visiting yesterday. She did, and I already apologized to you for not picking your calls yesterday. I was attending to my boss. You know how he is when my attention is not fully on him. So what was Judy doing in your house when you were not around? I won't be surprised if she spent the night there. How could you say that? She didn't spend the night in my house. She came visiting, and she insisted to stay till I returned. I couldn't tell her no. Hmm, no problem. But I am not always comfortable with her around. It's okay, I'll talk to her about it. Okay. Mr. Williams. You are lucky I am still home. I was about going inside to get ready for a meeting with my new client. Oh, thank God I came on time. I had to wait for a taxi for so long. I'm sorry I came now. It's okay. It's not a big deal. I can postpone my meeting with the client till I am done with you. You can have a seat. Thank you so much, sir. So, I am here just like you told me last time. Um, yes, I told you to come back today. Mr. Nelson, sincerely speaking, I am tired of you always coming here to beg for money. Yes, sir. I know I am really ashamed of myself. I wish I had something to do to produce some money for my family's up. What business would you like to do? The kind of the kind of business you think would bring more money to you. I am ready to help. Sir, I will be contented with a very little business. I don't mind living from hand to mouth. I think owning a babbing salon would be better. <laughs> a babbing salon? Have you forgotten your age? You are too old for such business. Once had a babbing salon. Once I was younger, so I am experiencing something like that. I disagree with you, Mr. Nelson. You have to think of something else. Anyway, I think it would be better if you know the amount of money I am about to lend you. With that, you can think of something bigger. Okay, sir. I don't usually do this, but I am willing to give you the sum of 5 million naira on one condition. 5 million naira? Wow! That is a huge amount of money. I don't mind doing anything for you, sir. I have known your family for some time now, and I must confess you trained your daughter very well. Thank you, sir. My son will be coming back very soon, and I promise to keep a wife for him. I will give you the 5 million euro if only you will give your daughter to my son. What? Judith, you know you didn't have to wait for me to return. You should have gone back home. Austin, what is the problem? Are you avoiding me? I don't like the way you've been treating me these days. Why would I avoid you when you have not done anything wrong to me? He doesn't seem so to me. We talk literally every day on the phone, but since the last day I left you, you have been avoiding my calls and messages. Judith, I've been very busy. And it's because of you, Amanda and I had a quarrel some days back. You are not making her trust me. I see. So all this is because of Amanda. Austin, you have the mind to avoid me because of that girl, that little girl. I love Amanda very much and I don't want anything that will come between us. I will cut you off if you are a threat to my relationship. You have obviously gone crazy. I have been your friend for so long and this is how you choose to cut me off. Because of someone that has insecurities. If she truly loves you, then why can't she just trust you? Please, Judith, I'm begging you not to complicate things for me. You have always been coming to this house without my consent. It has to stop. Austin, come on. A mother shouldn't be the one to determine what happens in this relationship. I'm begging you to stay away for some time. Trust me, I'll call you back when I gain her trust. <laughs> Frank, my son, I am so happy to see your call today. I thought of calling you this evening. Good day, Dad. Sorry I have not been able to reach out to you for some days now. I have really been busy. How have you been, Dad? I missed you so much. I have missed you too, my son. Things has been going well, my son. I have some good news for you. I can't wait to hear it. I also have good news for you. Okay, son. I just want to let you know that I want a contract for our company here on Nigeria. I have also found a wife for you. Congratulations on your contract. And what did you say the second one is? You found a wife for who? 
let's not talk about this today we already discussed about your homecoming the last time we spoke so just be ready to come back to nigeria i'm sorry dad but i found the wife already i can't come back to nigeria for now i found the love of my life and i'm ready to spend the rest of my life with her nonsense my final decision is what you will take i already told you you will not settle down with any white lady you must marry an african woman i'll not marry anyone else apart from my white lady hello frank frank 